Wait in the water, we did. Wait in the water, children. Wait in the water. God said he's got my trouble in the water. Wait in the water, we did. Wait in the water, children. Wait in the water. God's got my trouble in the water. Hallelujah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. God bless you. God honor you. Amen. Let's lift our hands to heaven. Thank you. Blessed be your name. Just pray in the spirit for one minute. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, my Father. My own strength fail me. Friends and families turn their backs on me. 
Lord, you stood by me. You never let me down. My own strength failed me. Friends and families turn their backs on me. Lord, you stood by me. You never let me down. Jesus, I come the name way. Jesus, I care me Oh, Jesus. Jesus, I come in the Jesus, I care in Thank you, Father. Our heart is fixed on you as our strength, our hope for tomorrow. As trained for the journey. Somebody say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand one more time. Did you see that? Amen. Good to see everyone in high spirit. Um, stretch your hand to Dr. Fidis. Happy birthday. Say, God keep you. God preserve you. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm actually very laid back with celebrations. I don't know, I've never, I don't think I've attended a wedding reception. My daughter asked me one day, she said, Daddy, when we get married, will you come for our reception? That's how bad it is. So for me to come here is a huge sacrifice. It's not, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong in the reception, but there are just some people who have phobia. And being, having phobia doesn't make you unspiritual you are you there are things you don't like there are people that don't like heights not that they are possessed they are who they are some don't like water some don't like rivers some don't like um, just that when your phobia becomes suspicious like somebody said to me that he doesn't like light I said that's not a phobia that's wickedness <laughs> that's wickedness <laughs> amen so being here today is just to tell him how much I love him Um, and to say, and to say, I told my wife I was going to be here. She said, "You, birthday, wow." Um, and to say a few things to you. What makes a man a man, a good man, is his heart. There are many God's men that are not good men. When you come around a person, what you must look for in that person is humanity. Anybody can pray, anybody can fast, anybody can work miracles. But there are people who can do all of that and they don't care about people. Many people have left the church today not because they were sick, not because they were stranded, but because nobody cared. Nobody cared. And people are wondering why Dr. Fidelis is close to me, I love him and all that. You know, in Proverbs 27, 19, they say, as in water, face answer to face, so is the heart of man to man. When you meet someone of like mind, you just connect. He has my kind of heart. So, 
And, and I want to say this to you. Let me give you a counsel, and I'll, then I'll not give we all counsels. The first thing I want you to know is good men are always taken advantage of. When you have a good heart for people, they will abuse it. It's not about you. It's about them because they, they can't give what they don't have. They can't give what they don't have. So, expect that when you have a good heart to help people, you're going to be grossly pained when you see people taking advantage of that. It's normal. Don't feel bad about it. Focus on those who appreciate it. And that's going to give you some hope. Number two, which you need to take into cognizance, is don't joke with family. Don't joke with family. At the end of the day, family is everything. Don't joke with your family. Don't joke with your family. Whatever you can give your wife, you can give anybody else. Don't joke with your family. Number three, understand your relationship with God is what makes you who you are. Never be too busy for him. And number four, which is very, very like a fatherless counsel. In 1 Corinthians 10, 12, he said, he that ticket is standard. Never get to a point in your life where you feel you are doing so much. Because the day start dawning on you that you are doing so much, it means you are almost winding up. Never ever, always be ready to serve. Nobody is indispensable. Nobody. As a matter of fact, when some people, when some people disqualify themselves, how many of you have a little inclination to medicine? Doctor, matron, the human anatomy, they told us skeleton has 201 bones. But the human, human anatomy actually, the ribs, the rib actually is 12, 12 bones. Ribs. Okay, so when God made Adam, it was actually 13. When Eve was taken, it became 12. Number 13 is confusion. 12 is order. So, hold on. When Jesus appeared before the Garden of Gethsemane, he came 12. Judas was in there. Judas was not there. It appeared that Judas went to betray Christ, but that was scripture being fulfilled. Because Jesus and Judas were from the same tribe. And if Jesus had come with Judas, there would have been an error. Because every tribe has to be represented. Two people can represent one tribe. So everything that the enemy or people try to do to you actually works in your favor. Finally, I'll tell you, obey God. It may not make sense. 15 years ago, I was sitting with Reverend Kinsley. You know Reverend Kinsley? And Reverend John. A young man walked up to me and said, I'd like to be in this ministry. And the Holy Spirit said, no, I had it. He came around. The Holy Spirit said, no, I had it again. But it was always coming. And I'm, so, I'm such a sympathetic person. I, I kept seeing him around. He wants to work with us. I said, ah, ah, this guy is always coming. Let's take him. And Reverend Kinsley said, but you said the Holy Spirit said, no. I said, we can, we can mold him. The Holy Spirit said, no. Don't take him. Two years later, the Holy Spirit said, send him away. I said, what has he done? 15 years later, he does a video against me. And the Holy Spirit said to me, don't care about the video. Repent. As for mercy, he said, I told you, I saw this ahead. Obey God. No matter how painful it is, once God gives you administration obey God and to you who oh, God has put him in charge whatever happens to the priest happens to the people who we'll see a 4 verse 9 like people like priest anyone that attacks your pastor is coming for you 
That's the truth. He's attacking your covering. It's not actually him. It's you that they want. Stand to defend them. Stand to love them. Good men of God as cast. Men of God who have humanity. Jeremiah 5, 26. Among my people, there are wicked men. Among my people, God's people. God was speaking that among his people. So, stand and love him. Protect him. Pray for him. Love his family. And above all, don't joke with your relationship with God. Follow him as he follows Christ. First Corinthians 11, 1, he says, follow, Be ye followers of me as I follow Christ. As he follows God, you follow him. The day we stop following God, stop following us. Because your relationship with God, first, nothing must affect your relationship with God. When there's something God shows you in the church that you are not comfortable with, God has given you a prayer point. He has not given you a topic for discussion. Happy birthday. Amen. Please do have your seat. Praise the Lord. Reverend asked me to teach for Bible study today that they want to sit down and listen. I said, okay, I didn't, I didn't think twice because I knew my father was coming. So now my father has taught. We have closed. Praise God. Before we go, we want to just prepare one or two persons to say one or two things. The sons of the prophet, a pastor, and one other person. The SOP coordinator will call you forth. And as they come to do that, we want you to prepare your offering as we give to the Lord today. Can we welcome the SOP coordinator? Thank you. Daddy, thank you, sir. Happy birthday, sir. Praise the Lord, George. It's a great privilege to stand before you this evening to talk briefly about a man whose impact cannot be measured. You see, they say that the true measure of a man is not in what he says about himself but in the quality of his production. A man's impact is what speaks for him. I've known Reverend Fidelis for quite some time now. He started noticing me when by the finger of God I became the SOP coordinator in Lagos. But before then, he didn't know me. Most of the times, on Sunday morning, I would just sneak in just to hear him. In short, there is one of my book that I develop a whole chapter by just listening to him on a Sunday service. And most of the time, I tell my wife, I said, please, let's just try, go here, hear this man talk. He's full of wisdom words. And one of the things that attracted me to him it doesn't matter the things you see around him. He doesn't allow any of such get into his head. He's a simple man. Very available, very accessible. And when I noticed his big heart, I began to learn from him. And some of our SOP members who are around this evening can testify to this. Each of our meetings, I keep celebrating him. Because like our papa said, I keep seeing the heart of our father in him. And every day I come around him, I learn one thing or the other. And it's a pleasure to sit here this evening to celebrate such a man, the very son of our father. He's a gift to our generation. And I say, sir, more grace and greater impact, sir. 
We love you, sir. God bless you. Let's welcome Pastor Fine to. It really shocked me. I don't feel like you. Please join me celebrate Greeks. That is celebrated. I have known uh, our daddy here in Lagos for quite some time. Since 1999, we met somewhere. I was asked to act a certain drama, to act a certain in the drama. Then I was a chemist boy. <laughs> so before I was released from my place of work, 600 naira job as at that time, before I got there, he came in and when he didn't see me, they gave him the role. So I was acting. I was kind of angry where I was. So you mean after the all night VG for Riaza? But when I saw what he was doing, I said, ah, thank God it was him who attacked it. And from that day, I started following him. Followed him. I wrote a few things about him recently, not by what people say, but on practical terms. If you want to learn followership, follow Reverend Fidelis. Anything that will come between is instruction and what you think. He doesn't allow it. It doesn't matter what it will cost him. It doesn't matter if you are crying. You, he will make peace with you later. And how he makes his peace is that he will call you and give you money. <laughs> he will never tell you sorry. <laughs> he will just call you. How are you? Fine. If you are expecting something more, you are on your own. One day, he's a very unique personality when it comes to leadership and followership. One day we were in Olowu Church and uh, he gave me 100% of reaction. What did I say? 100%. So I came down from the upstairs and I met Dikin Ezekiel. I gave him 70 to hold. <laughs> Our mama saw me giving 70% to an elderly man. My mama called me. He said, now, wow. <laughs> Praise God. He gave the king Boyo too, and in the midst of that, he climbed the altar and he was manifesting God like never before. <laughs> the king Boyo came to meet me. He said, but this man just make us face now. <laughs> and I said to him, he has reacted and he has let go. Anything you are doing now, you are on your own. He has left you there. He said to us on Sunday, myself and Pastor Martin, he said, I don't see error, I'm not corrected. I want us to appreciate one thing about our father here in Lagos. There are people who you offend, they stop. You do tomorrow, they keep. You do next tomorrow, they stop. You do again, they stop. And one day, when they choose to talk to you, they will refer to 2020, 2015, 1999. But his own as you give it to him, he blesses you immediately. And, and that is what a Christian life should be like. Somebody who don't harbor things in their mind, who tells you this is what it takes, and you learn from it, and that is it. That I want to thank you because... Uh, I don't know where I would have actually been without coming in contact with you. Uh, you've had my hands all these years. My mother is listening to me. You've been a very good person. You flogged me when, when I needed to be flogged. You never spared me. And uh, today, I married under you and I have three children. My wife is sitting right behind you. And I am glad, I'm happy. That you brought me to our father, you brought me to these Greeks, and uh, all you've ever taught me is followership. God will help us to follow. God bless you, sir. Lastly, treasure. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, there's a saying that says, a man 
No matter how good he is in public, the person that knows him very well, the person you ask questions, is his wife and his children. And as his first child, I'm here to tell you something that you might not even know, you might not have even known, but here it goes. The God in you, indescribable. Your love for God, unfathomable. Your lessons are my favorite because they are your whole life. The way you protect us and fight, and it's in your love for me, I could dive. My dad is, there's something I say a lot, like, I asked God for a father. He gave me a friend, a twin brother, and an angel. <laughs> One of my biggest motivations, my biggest motivations in life are in this place today. God, my big daddy, my father, my mom, and my family, and the church, which are my motivations in life, my role model, my friend, my twin, my, my everything. Yes, he's my twin. <laughs> Go and meet your own father. <laughs> I, envy, I envy his love for God because this is a man. There was a time during the lockdown from the morning when I woke up till four o'clock daddy was in his room praying like he was praying and all he was doing was just thanking god that was the day my my, my respect for his love for god went higher because there's some men who work for god but forget their work with god they are too busy with their preaching and their confess and all to have a personal relationship with god but my father is not one of them my father is the most honest in my life i can count the amount of times daddy has lies and that's two times <laughs> The first one, he told us, the first one, he told us he was going out. And then, next thing you know, we saw him on TV, doing Papa's show, doing Papa's on celebration TV. And the second one, he said we were going to, he was going to take us out. And he went to Aochi. <laughs> so, so, um, that brings me to my conclusion, which is my, his father. His respect for daddy is awesome. There was a day. Daddy, because of traffic, Papa was passing Lagos to go somewhere because of traffic. Because Daddy has a rule that he has to be there for Papa. He has to be there in time for Papa. My father entered whether it was Keke Abi bike because of traffic to meet Daddy in the airport. I was like, ah, his respect for Daddy is awesome. His love for Daddy is amazing. Everything he refers to Daddy over and over. Um. I just want to say, Daddy, thank you for everything you've been to me. You've been my motivation, my role model. I don't, I don't, you've been more than enough. You've been more than I can ever explain. And I love you very much. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for motivating me. Thank you for everything. You are a father very precious. You are a father very precious. And I think the only word I found to describe you is super califragilistic espialidocious. Something you can say when there's no other word to explain somebody, and that's how I should describe you. Thank you. First thing I have to say is happy birthday, Daddy. In everything that I have seen in you, one thing is for sure, you must know God. If you don't know God, like... I don't know how to explain this. Everything about him is just God, 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 God. If you ask him, Daddy, how do you do this? You say first, God. There is not one thing that he does not say God. There was a day I asked him, Daddy, how do you keep your focus so high? He told me, discipline and God. If not for daddy now, I won't be here, I won't be wearing all these clothes that I'm wearing. <laughs> At times, even when I sleep in his room and I forget to cover myself with duvet, the next morning I wake up, I see myself inside duvet. I am shocked. <laughs> like, the way he... He makes me feel he's so happy. That's why at times I call him my G. Because, like, he makes me feel like one. He ma he's like a brother to me. He's like my brother already. 
and my choice of hairstyle comes from him. So I recommend him. Thank you, thank you, and God bless you. Please bring out your offering. Let's give to the Lord. I thought she was in the office. She stepped out. Hallelujah. Daddy, happy birthday. Thank you, Daddy, for coming. Daddy, I love you. You are the best. To tell you something. It's okay. Hallelujah. So this is one of the best things about my father. He is smart and he loves God. He wants everybody to know God. That God is big, God is powerful. There's a day ah <laughs> lockdown season. Daddy carried the Bible and said, everybody, if we don't finish the Bible by the end of last year, you will not eat. <laughs> ah. <laughs> everybody was crying because the whole Bible, 66, Sam on his own, is 100 and something. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> so he said we should finish the whole Bible. Um, me, Walt and Treasure, and Michael, ah, my other brother. So me, my Treasure, and Michael, we carried the Bible and we read up to the end of um, the Old Testament. So Daddy was not like, well done. You can eat half. <laughs> we did not finish our food though. Daddy said, eat half. We not finished half. Daddy, not, we not read um, Matthew. We finished half of Matthew. Daddy not said, you can finish your food. Ah, Daddy now bought pizza for us. Ah. The pizza is not cheap, man. You know the biggest one. He bought for each of us. Us, we are laughing at him. <laughs> See, person that says we should go and read Bible, else we will not finish. Oh, oh, we will not eat. But I'm eating cheap, man, pizza. What could not eat his own? He was too full. His stomach started paining him. Daddy said, Oh, yeah, the nurse of the house, come and take care of your son. Is that your son? Mommy now said that is it not your son? Go and take him to hospital. So I just want everybody to appreciate my father. He's the best. He's a father that nobody can ask for. I just want to say thank you, Daddy. We love you. On behalf of the whole Ayamobas, we say we love you. I love you, Daddy. Now you see why she didn't collect the mic in the first place. Because she has a talent. Amen. Are you ready with your offering? Oh, we need to cut the cake first. We need to cut the cake. So honey, you need to cut your cake. Present the... Please see how the cake designers. Cake cutting by the celebrant of the day. Please let's be all standing as as he cuts his cake. You make you know. At the spell of Jesus, he's gonna cut his cake. Can I get a J? J. E. E. It's not loud enough. S. S. U. U. Can I get a bigger S?
is indescribable. His name is a hallowed in the firmament. He is a passer of alarm through space and time. Our God is indescribable. His name is a hallowed in the firmament. He's a pass of alarm through space and time. So from the pages of my heart, let my worship begin but never end. So from the pages of my heart, let my worship begin but never end. Happy birthday to you. 
and messages on social media. Log on to www.youtube.com forward slash Omega Fire Ministries Lagos. 
subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to get notification of more amazing videos and messages. For Facebook users, log on to www.facebook.com forward slash OFM Lagos. Like our page and subscribe to the page. Watch any message of your choice in the video section. On Instagram, follow at one minute with Reverend Fidelis Ayamaba and get a minute's word daily that will transform your life. Enjoy your day with the Word of God brought to you by Reverend Fidelis Ayamaba. Subscribe to our pages today. You can a condemned thief before he came to the cross but on the cross he recognized Jesus he said to Jesus Jesus the Bible says is the author and the finish of our faith not the middle the Bible didn't tell us about the middle God will begin with so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son says and the dove and nothing keeps you in perpetual struggle like foolishness